All right, so last date or time to head out to Key West. Man, I am excited to not sleep in a tent anymore. And this is all packed up. I'm gonna throw away my garbage and then I'm good to go. Got a flat again. It's like 30 miles away from Key West. But at least I have a step there too. And really this was on me. Like I went over gravel that was like too harsh. So I only have myself to blame. What are you gonna do? Wow, what a fucking day. Oh my god. Replace the back tire. Hopefully this is gonna hold. And look at this. The front tire popped too. This is just great. This was the culprit. This was just stuck in there. Oh my god. God fucking damn it. Good news and bad news. First good news. The back tire is holding. Wow, that's pretty good. Bad news. <laughs> front tire popped. Oh, fuck. So I just replaced the front tube again. Um, I got no more patches. No more spare tires. If this thing like slowly leaks air, I'm just gonna pump it like every so often. Cause I'm so close to Key West right now, like it's probably like another 20 miles and I'll be there. Close to Key West! Maybe 5 miles! Alright, so I'm in uh, Key West now and right now I'm looking for two tourist attractions. First one is Mile Zero Marker for uh, US 1. And second one is like this, I don't, I don't even know, it's this um, kind of totem pole pointing where everything is. And then I'm going to check out my hotel. It's the end. <laughs> the starting marker looks way more impressive than the end marker. This point, this point, okay. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> yep. I just checked into my hostel and it's very inconvenient because they don't have a like, laundry service. So I have to do laundry at like a separate place. And it's so expensive, it's like 350 for a load. So here it is, my hotel, or my hostel. N-Y-A-H. 